musculature on her. <laughs> Dug up this nest. Let's see if there's any more babies in here. Well, holy cow. Hey all you critter people, welcome back for part two of hunting invasive Burmese pythons for 40 nights consecutively. This video starts on a night where we got a call from our friend Alex, aka Duff Does Nature Stuff, asking yeah. if we wanted to come help find a nest. He found a bunch of baby yeah. pythons, so the nest and more babies were probably nearby. Nice. And the chaos begins. Stay tuned because we catch a lot of babies in this video. Yeah. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to Critter Cult boys. <laughs> now I'm gonna do one for my YouTube. That's another little guy. Look how beautiful. Let's get some institute here. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. <laughs> right here. You guys look deep inside. We, we look We've looked pretty deep, but obviously not deep enough. Yeah. Nice! Out of the tree, 20 feet up. Wow. Wow, that's cool. You're so cute. I'm so sorry, buddy. Just I wish we could be friends. I'm gonna get... No, but it's starting to get dense right here, so I might need to go inward right there. He cleared his whole spot, though. Okay. Oh, what's this? Eggs, eggs, eggs! Eggs, eggs! So much shed do we got, though? Oh, that's a big snake. That's a large snake, you guys. We need a that's, a, that's a very large snake. It's a 14 minimum. Guys, we just dug up this nest. Let's see if there's any more babies in here. Holy, Holy cow, this wow. is fresh. Holy crap. Two, two years in a row. It's wow. wow, big snake. Big snake shed. Huh? We got a lot of time Holy to spend here. Holy <laughs> Holy right, Again, we're out here with Critter Colt. You want to just count them out? Yeah, let's do it. You count yours, I'll count mine. Right. Feel for any babies still inside, too. Yeah. These eggs are so big, wow. Ah! Juicy, this one didn't make it. Or it didn't, it just was really juicy. Oh, this just one didn't like make it. Oh, he's hatching right now, check this out. Check oh! that out! Oh! Oh my God! No <laughs> way! I'm a dad! Woo oh Check the my slimy god! Bags. Immediately a snapdragon. Oh my god! This within... one's thick. Look at how big they are! Immediately out of the egg. Hold. Huge for a baby, fresh baby hatchling that just came out of its egg. This is a big snake, bigger than. Just bite me in the face. <laughs> how many you got? I lost count again. I just got distracted. I got 26. Burned. Wow. Wow. It barely needs any space to Look get the size through of there. Her. Look at the size of her. She's thicker than me leg, mate. Huh? Huh? Holy cow. Remember Holy the feel for that squishy cow. log under your feet? Yeah. Remember last year? Sure do. How can I ever forget? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yes! We gotta tear this whole area up. It's this. Another egg. Okay, so I'm telling you, I think now. there's more under here. So last year, Alex and I found a 17-foot mama python in the water, and I actually physically found her by stepping on her with my boot, which was super crazy. So we tried to replicate that this year and try to follow her tracks into the water, and we didn't have any luck finding her. So we went back up to the nest to try to round up more babies. I didn't even see it fall. Yeah, that's python hunt for you. <laughs> Rather be lucky than good. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> Wonder if the rest are just up there in there. I wonder. There's probably ten in this tree, based yeah. on how many we pulled out of these trees. <laughs> Snapdragons. Grab them. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Another one. Cool. Should end up getting new one. Hey, hey, look at that. On the ground. Yeah. Another one. 
Okay, so we're gonna stick around for a while longer because there's clearly more coming out. We try not to waste anything that we get from the pythons that we remove, and that includes things like the eggshells from this hatched out nest. So we washed out these eggs and we filled them with foam and we made this really cool taxidermy display of what it looks like when you see a clutch of eggs from a Burmese python. And this is actually kind of what it does look like. They're all stuck together in a big mound as you're seeing right here. <laughs> looks like snakes are moving tonight. There's two right there. That was a big scarlet snake. Hi, hey, it's okay. Making me get off the road. There you go. Me too. Got a little Ford Brown snake here. Right next to each other. How cool is that? <laughs> awesome. Great start. Oh, I've been a pretty slow night so far. A little three straight mud turtle. Hello. Up you go. Up you go. Wow, they just crawl so cool. It's called rectilinear when they crawl in a straight line like a caterpillar. I call it inchworming. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, crikey. Hell yeah. Yes. This is a yearling right here, a little bit of a smaller one than one you saw in our last video. Woo, nice. Yeah. We had a couple of really, really slow nights where we practically found nothing. Um, I basically just stared at grass for eight hours both nights for no reason. Um, usually on these full moon nights, it's pretty slow on the snaking. The snakes pick up on it and they just don't move as much. Alright. Oh, Here you go. Go ahead. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he's just a little guy. Liver. <laughs> <laughs> 3 30 in the morning first snake of the night what a brutal night <laughs> finally got, paid off no we got a baby earlier. we got a baby water snake one, earlier one. <laughs> that immediately just grips my hands <laughs> Why did we see nothing the past seven hours? And then now things are deciding to move. <laughs> Almost 4 a.m. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Look at that. Yay! Awesome. Kyle's birthday in like hour? three hours. <laughs> Another one out the glades. Yeah. Instead of birthday cake, we do birthday snake. The baby's so cute! Oh my god, he's so I can't fresh. believe I was just there. We just pulled over and he was just there when we got out for a second. He's so Yay. fresh. God, that is perfect. That is so perfect. Hello. Oh. You're so cute. I've seen some babies in this before, so I think this would be good for him. This would be his first time in the water. Huh? How do you like it? Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oop, my vest fell off. Fell off. It's so big on you. Let's go. 
So this night we ended up finding another nest of pythons hatching out. We never ended up finding the actual eggs, but we did find a lot of the babies and caught them as they were dispersing away from the nest. Aww. I mean, like, look at all these holes that these snakes could just go into. Anywhere in here there could be a nest. Yay! Meg with the spot. You dropped the egg. So gentle. <laughs> wrap. Wrap. Hello. Little snapdragon. Hi. Oh, you're nice. Hi, friend. Not nice. Not nice. They really are so pretty. Look at this baby. Another little baby berm. I don't think we stand a chance in finding where this nest came from. They disperse pretty far. But man, we're gonna get as many of these little guys out as we can while we while we got them all here. So it is uh, 3.30 in the morning. We haven't found any more baby pythons in about an hour, uh, but we lost track of how many we have. So we're gonna count them out right now and see what we ended up with at this nest. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Show me how it's done. <laughs> we have one, two, three in this hand. We got... One, one, two, two three. three. Four, five, six. Ooh. Oh, one. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Ow. Nine. Nine. Is that it? That is it. Oh, dang. So we got nine. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Two. That's a snatchling right there. <laughs> you trying to bite my boot? Hey. I like the fingers. Oh. <laughs> Hello. It's a really pretty corn. Uh oh. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, buddy. Little mud bud. Just found a dead cotton mouth literally right next to this cotton mouth. So, gotta make sure you get everybody off the road when you can. Don't want them getting hit by cars. Ring neck! Ring neck! What a little cutie! Yay! Ooh! A big one. Look at that. <laughs> Didn't even touch him. <laughs> I'd like to see how big she is if I pick her uh, up. We just pulled up and we saw this group of folks here yep. pulled up on this snake at the same time. They grabbed it behind the tail and said, hey, can we get some help? And jumped in there and teamworked this snake together. 
It's a nice size 10 foot female. Getting a little better look at this snake before we put her in the bag. She's calmed down a little more. Just coiling around Meg. Just look at the musculature on her. Yeah. That oh, that's incredible. a good size snake. We're out doing some on foot and we got Stuff says nature stuff up there. He just came to a screeching stop on the road. So I feel like he has a snake. Well, I might need new brakes on my van. Yeah, I can heard that. But we, got, <laughs> but we got a six footer. Go ahead. <laughs> what an interesting little spot, buddy. If you haven't seen part one, go check out our last video and also go see at Duff does nature stuff's perspective on the clutch we found. Stick around for part three. We'll be catching some big snakes in that video. Thanks everybody. See you soon.